Yeah. This is a conference. Look at the water ahead. Look at the one coming from the left side. They are all going to the right side. So, if you listen carefully, you will hear the drum beat of the water reading. Yeah. Oh. Life. Life. You got to try. You got to try. Try and try. At the end of the day, you will succeed in whatever you want to do. So long as you believe you get there. There is nothing that nature didn't give to us. We become so encumbered in uh, city life. We become so indoctrinated in conformity to expectation of industries. I think uh, they program us to become copycat instead of us to retain our individual competency and add value in the communities that we are. I'm alone, but can I really be alone? All around me here, I can see them. Birds, frogs, all of them, plantain trees, mongoose. We all share the same universe. Am I not part of the natural hemisphere? No one was designed to be here forever. We were to make life better for each other, not make it worse. Why don't you find out the lesson you will learn from association and collaborating with anybody you meet in time and space? Don't let anybody deceive you with good news. Which is better? Do you think you can ever get to heaven without going through hell? Everybody in the world of two faiths want to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. Is it possible to enter heaven without being dead in time and space in the universe or cosmopolitan in the entire planetary body in life and in business? Which is better, starting with the hard workforce or the simplest workforce? Even if they say those things exist, suppose they don't exist, when those books were handed down, were you there? You know easy. Didn't you hear it? You know easy. That was peace square now. If it was easy, would they have said so? But is it not getting easy now? Because whatever you say, don't you create by implication? Those who fight and run away live to fight. And is that not Bob Marley and the whalers, whaling whalers? Did it not start from the get to the not get into stardom? Was it not inspired by Emperor Celestial in African Kingdom? Were there on other people, even beneath kingdom, did you know inspired all over the world? What the Pope wears in his head? Did you know what they wear in Benin Kingdom? The warriors in Benin Kingdom. I don't think we need to be such copycat that we cannot even change after we say we've gained independence for over 60 years. If people handed independence to us, our ancestral fathers, we shouldn't be blaming them now, we should be blaming ourselves. If they created or they planted a first seed, are we not supposed to correct them, uproot them and replant the ones which will give us generational blessing and add all round blessing? If you see I'm a black man, you may be right, but my tongue, not to your boot tongue, and my anus. Check my intestine and my liver if I have issues and I decide to donate somebody. If it fits with the same blood, we will not live. So, what's your definition of class distinction? It's a full name, man, it's a Hausa man, Rubo man, a Jebu man, Yoruba man, a German man, Why? 
Waitangali, whatever you are, which is is significant. Whatever religion you are, I think it's even a crime for somebody to ask you whether you are married or unmarried. Have there not been a lot of uh, married men who have committed more atrocity in time and space than people who are not married? So why the fuck are you asking whether he's married or not? I think it's even more important to know whether he has integrity or she has integrity. We should not segregate based on sex. Because some women are more valuable to us than the men. Some men are nothing but bump ass, pain in the ass. A man who is not sincere to himself or a woman is not sincere to himself, do you expect him to be sincere to you? He doesn't believe in the truth because he has lied to himself. Do you not expect him to ever tell you the truth? Impossible.